Well, hello, champions, and how are you today? Donnie Wani is here with another video. Um, some of you requested that I show you how I do my DIY with my candles um, so that I'm not consistently buying the little tarts and things that go in my electric candle burners or tart burners or whatever you want to call them. And I thought this might be something interesting, so I decided to go ahead and let y'all know and do a video on it so if you're interested in seeing everything that I do which you don't need a whole lot to do it and you don't um, it doesn't take a lot of time then you just keep watching okay so as you can see I have my candles here and I have an array of candles that I'm going to do not all on, ca on camera of course but I am going to do the larger one and the smaller ones and the medium sized ones and then one of these um, with uh, tea lights um, just so that you can get an idea of what you need to do so here are my candles then also you're going to need a hammer you're going to need a towel or some type of type of sheet or something you're also going to need I use a um, this is a grapefruit um, knife where it's a double-edged knife meaning it's serrated on both sides if y'all can see that and so I can easily use this to pop out um, the candle or to break it up inside the jar and then you're also going to need something to store your wax in once you get it out of its container and this is just different kinds of things that I use so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this DIY okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna want to lay your towel out okay and this is just some that I've already done and this is just three tea lights which this is a tea light okay so I'm just going to pour this into this container and mind you now you can mix it up or you can put it in different containers or a lot of times I just set it out the products that I'm not use the wax I'm sorry the wax that I'm not using that I've already taken out I just set it out and it'll just you know give a nice um, a nice scent I'm sorry to your home so we're gonna start out with the tea light first okay and this is just a typical tea light. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to put your candles in the freezer and you want to freeze them. You want them to get really, really hard. Like this has been in the freezer. All of these have been in the freezer for a whole day. And you can hear, you hear that? Okay, that's the whole candle is solid, frozen. So pretty much all I'm gonna have to do is break this down, which let's just start with that because it's ready to pop out and actually if this was wide enough the neck and the opening was wide enough all I would have to do was turn it upside down shake it a little bit and it would fall out so the towel is to protect so that you don't have glass flying everywhere and then you're going to take your hammer and generally what I do is I start at the base and you can feel it break okay you can feel it break. And so there you are. You see that? The candle is broken. What I'll do at this point is I'll take my little chifty knife and scrape off the shaving that the broken glass has left behind. And then, you know, any big pieces that might, uh, and be careful because, you know, glass will fly. And then I just kind of take and wipe it off. And then voila, there is the full candle that was inside that jar. Now there's a second component to this. I'm just going to put this to the side so that I can work with the wax. Okay, now the second component to this, because you still have this huge hunk of um, wax. So you're going to take your knife. I use this double-sided double-edged uh, grapefruit knife and I pop it in where the wick is and once you begin to pop it in 
where the wick is and it's frozen see it just absolutely comes apart and from this point you can just break it down any way after you get it broken into the large pieces and sometimes it may take a little depending on how frozen I just took these out of the freezer but if you just wiggle it around you see there I'm coming up with these huge huge pieces and see I just had to break that one off you see what I'm saying and so you want to get it down so that you can get the wick out because now you don't need the wick anymore you just want the wax okay and so you see how that came apart so now we have the wick right here pretty much at this point it's easy peasy okay you can just take the wick and pull it out as such okay and then you can just take and break these down into the sizes that you choose to break them down in for your your burning pleasure for your storage pleasure so on and so forth and generally what I do with the shavings because you can take your shavings and just mix them in oh if y'all could just smell this it smells delightful you can just take your shavings and just mix them in on top of other because I uh, uh, other um, um, candles that you have burning in your tarts and I just mix them in and it just creates my own different scent so that is how we will do a large <coughs> candle the larger the candle the easier it is to get it out okay so now I'm gonna do this medium size Yankee candle and as you can hear you see it's already solid and it's shaking around so because this opening because this opening is big enough where this candle can come out I haven't done anything but make sure it was shaking okay and you can hear that I'm just gonna turn it over and it popped right out you saw that and it's solid because it's frozen and it came out like that okay so we don't have to break this so at this point if you wanted to reuse this jar to store brushes or pencils or whatever you want to store in it pop take the label off wash it really well and you got you a storage container because see the jar is frozen so the label is going to easily come off so now you've got you a nice little storage container to do with whatever you want to do with it okay in this case we you see it was already cracked so it's simple and I know there's other ways to do it people melt them down and <clears throat> excuse me do all that kind of stuff but this is the easiest way for me and then we can um, move on to the next now I'm gonna try the smaller one. Oh, and the scents guys smells so good now see this one you don't hear it so this one we're gonna have to crack of course we couldn't have got it out anyway but the the Yankee candle jars are so see and I hit it so hard it already broke up inside inside the candle y'all see that so I'm just gonna shave it off and that happens sometimes but because it was frozen it split right in half so we're gonna be done with this one and see it just split and all I'm doing is shaving off the glass the XX glass putting it to the side um, now this one because the wick is it because of the way that it's shattered the wick I'm gonna have to pop it out but that's just simple it's just a matter of just cutting it in half and see the wig fell out now there is some left in here but because the glass was so shattered I'm not gonna fool with it I'm just gonna throw it all in the trash oh but it smells so stinking good oh okay so now we're going to do um, this is not a tea light this is a uh, oh my goodness you know what this is called anyway 
I can't think of what it is right now, but we're gonna just, I just took the wrapper off of it before I put it in the freezer. It's frozen solid. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our little knife. Can y'all see? Let me move that out the way. There you go. And we're just gonna come straight down the middle. I always start at the middle where the wick is. See how it just came apart and the wick comes out. And that's it. You've got yourself wax to use in your electric burners or your burners that have bulbs or whatever because those little tart things that you're purchasing for those burners they're nothing but the wax okay so why not just get more for your money this is my thought process get more for my money by just you see how that done all three of them are done by not just get more for your money, by just um, buying a whole candle, freezing it, and breaking it down. Okay, so now we're going to move into the little uh, tea light. Okay, so what I have a tendency to do with the tea lights is I start in the middle inside because it's frozen. It's close to the wick as you can get, and I just break it apart. Okay, and I generally have something here so that I can get the shavings off in it. Um, and then I come down the side, and this knife that I got, I got it for 50 cents at, uh, on clearance at um, Bath and Body Works. So I just come down the side, and see how that just pops out? And so then I just go down the other side, and you see how that popped out? And that's the tea light. And a lot of times, and see it's empty, a lot of times the tea light, um, the wick will uh, stay inside the jar. A lot of times it doesn't, but here's the wick, pop it out. Okay, and then you have your wax, and you can do this with any candle. Yankee candle, Bath and Body Works candles, Walmart candles, any candle you can do this with. So, you see, I don't buy those little tart things to put in my burners. Like I said, it's much more economical for me. And you see how that's coming out? It's much more economical for me. And I, it, you know, to do it this way. And then also, guys, I'm going to share with you is that it seems to me like the scent lasts a much, much longer i get a much better throw i can easily mix my scents um ooh, okay that happens too i can easily mix my scents and create my own scents if i want to and so this will last me quite a while once i finish all of these up it will last me quite a while and y'all just gonna have to try it out for yourselves but like I said this is the most economical in the quickest way for me now let's just generally I don't take them out of the freezer until I'm actually ready to do it and it doesn't really matter how long you keep it in the freezer I mean you just need them to be hard and I like to just keep mine in, like I said, for a full 24 hours because that way I know as I'm working with it, you know, it's starting to get soft. But you see, if it's hard, it's much more easier to work with. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'll finish my tea lights, but I do want to do... Okay, so now I'm going to do this medium-sized Yankee Candle jar. And y'all know these Yankee Candle jars um our thick is all get out and i make sure each side is closed so the glass doesn't go flying everywhere and you can pretty much feel it when it breaks Ooh. and you have to be careful and see the, the top on this one just came straight off you see that it was all ready for donny wani to pick it on up. And this was a brand new candle. You saw that. It was a brand new candle. So now, 
And see, I got all these different scents going on. This is Kitchen Spice right here by Yankee Candle that I just broke. And then I have one of Yankee Candles. The green one was Christmas Time, T-H-Y-M. Um, and uh, this one right here that came straight out of the jar was Smite Spiced Pumpkin. And this one, I can't even... This was like a martini something that was a Christmas candle for Yankee Candle. But it, it, it's very, very simple, guys. Very, very, very simple. And I say, and like I said, it's most economical for me. So that's it, guys, for today. This is a DIY. Let me know in the comment section how you do your candles. Let me know if you've ever done this DIY before. And if you haven't, let me know if you're going to try it out. Let me also know if you have your own DIY. Because I would surely love to see your DIYs and try them out as well. Um, other than the kind that I just showed you. I know some people, like I say, they melt them down and do all kinds of things like that. So let me know in the comment section um, if you plan to use this DIY. If you enjoyed this type of video. So on and so forth. And so until the next time, I want to thank all of my new champions for coming on board and becoming a part of It's Donnie Wani's Time. Um, I also want to thank my ride or die who always watch my videos and just show me so much love. I truly enjoy all of the interaction I get in my comments. And until the next video, champions, we are all here for a reason and we all have a purpose. So why not find out your purpose? and embrace it. Mwah! Smooches!